meeting in Dubai. He comes to Ghana and issues instructions per email that wire the money through this account domiciled in Ghana, uh, sends emails from Ghana, uh, mm. engages in phone conversations in Ghana, okay. uh, all in pursuance of that uh, meeting that took place in Dubai. Dubai. So when you take all that in totality, then lots of the activities were actually uh, 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 done in Ghana. So it is your view that some of this can be pursued, prosecuted in, in Ghana? In, in totality. In totality? In you think so? Did you, which, which agencies did you... Two things. What you showed us at the screening mm -hmm. is much less than what you actually gave well, to the, the investigative Bernard, bodies. In total, Together with the referees, uh, other uh, uh, football officials, you're talking about perhaps 24 hours of raw um, cut video. 24 hours? Yes. In total. <laughs> including all the. If you want to watch it from beginning to end, you have to spend a whole day. Yes. In watching it. Wow. It's so, uh, in respect of Kwasin Yantech's own alone, what was. Uh, I mean, divorcing it from the referees because it the wasn't really, yeah. really uh, part of it. But question and thesis own alone, the raw cut, um, cut video ran into our four or five hours. Wow. Yeah, so I mean, it's uh, practically impossible to uh, congregate at the uh, conference. And, and watch uh, that for five hours. Watch a raw, boring, and cut uh, uh, video for that long. Mm. But FIFA had. Uh, 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 that raw and cut video, and uh, the petition was sent by uh, us as lawyers on behalf of uh, Anas Arumi Anas, and then later on, the state also got involved in respect of this uh, petition uh, from the Attorney General's Department. Uh, so, what has happened with FIFA was purely based on your petition to FIFA. Yes, but the Attorney General, Attorney also, General also, also had also the Attorney General also had uh, some evidence. part to play yes. in the in the, in the, in, the, yes. in the in the in the matter. Mm -hmm. Was at some point the uh, FIFA also wanted to know the position of 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 the Republic. Oh, okay. And the Attorney General supported Anas's petition. Uh, Did she? Uh, yeah. Ah. Attorney General. So how come we didn't really know this? Well, because people to be fair, people it, are saying, how come FIFA sitting in Zurich uh -huh. has come to a decision? To essentially vindicate Anas, and we sitting in Ghana see, as, have not been able to do anything as, 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 as Mr. Akutompa was saying. See, the processes are different. Okay. And uh, in Ghana, it is really about criminal prosecution. Mm -hmm. What goes into criminal prosecution is quite distinct from what goes into an ethical hearing. Okay. At FIFA, the petition was for him to be banned for violations of the uh, Code of Ethics of FIFA. Mm -hmm. uh, it is easier in terms of even the, the, the standard of, 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 of proof mm -hmm. in, in that regard uh, to hold someone liable for uh, breaching uh, ethical rules. But when you come to that kettle of fish called criminal prosecution, you require more in terms of your analysis of the evidence, your um, uh, how you view the evidence, and whether it will stand mm. uh, in the, in the court of law. Okay. But what I'm saying is that going before an ethical body is not the same as going before a criminal court to say that. So the latter is higher. Yeah, it's higher. Standards of proof is and, higher. And then again, you see, there are so many uh, facets of this case mm. that there are several state institutions involved in this investigation. And so you need to be careful so as to just compound everything together so mm. it will not be uh, if indeed the state decides to prosecute based on the evidence uh, it, it has. It will not be BNI doing this, financial intelligence okay. doing this, Office of Death. So it, it, it will be vexatious. So it has to be synchronized. Yeah, it has to be synchronized because, for instance, what goes to the financial intelligence aspect mm. is in respect to that the petition that went there is in respect of money laundering. Okay. Which is uh, distinct from what went to uh, mm. the uh, Economic and Organized Crime Office and distinct from what went to the Office of the Special Prosecutor. Wow. So you, you, you went to about five different people? Yeah, five. Office of Special Prosecutor, yeah. Financial Intelligence, mm -hmm. 
CID, CID, Attorney General itself. Mm. Do you go? You go to? Yes, we did. So you see, and you give them the same thing or different things. Everyone has everything. Same, <laughs> same information that, that 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 was given to FIFA. But as I'm saying, FIFA, FIFA's adjudicatory chamber is made up of a certain n number of individuals. But here you have so many state institutions investigating from so many angles. And so you don't, you, you are not looking at one uh, agency mm. going to start a process while the other perhaps is not ready. Because in your go. view, the different bodies you petition or give the information to look at different things. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that financial intelligence are looking for money laundering. That was a petition specifically that went yeah. to financial intelligence. But to That's AG, what did you give AG? AG was, of course, General. She, she is the, she is the, the wow. I mean, she's where the back stops. So she, she, she was the general. So who should lead this process? Of course, the AG would have to then be calling on us, uh, Mr. Gutomba said, mm. the, the AG's office, they, they, they are not investigators in that sense. Okay. You see, when you bring them the the uh, investigation report mm -hmm. then based upon that uh, uh how the law will fall then they will proceed to act where, uh, in respect of whether they want to prosecute and whether there's evidence mm -hmm. so of course you are notifying the ag that uh, this is a petition you send to all these various institutions so as you use that word you sync all of it together so wow. that one institution is not doing something contrary to what the other institution is doing Mm. So it's going to take a while, wow. you see, which is, as I said, quite distinct from the, the, the process at FIFA. This is the, the point of view. We are live on CCTV. My guest, Kisia Javing, is lawyer for Anas Armeyo Anas, whose uh, petition to FIFA has uh, gone through, and FIFA has banned Christian Yantichi for life, fined him half a million Swiss francs. I also have in studio, uh, Sheshe is the name we officially call him, Akutuan Pao, who says the call by MPP foot soldiers to get the president to direct AG to prosecute alleged corrupt officials is dangerous. We'll come back with more. We have a lot of messages to read as well. Don't go away. Ever thought about where you'd really want to live or invest? Is it beautiful, modern, and sustainable? Is the architecture advanced with state-of-the-art facilities? What if I told you you could find it only 15 minutes away from Adenta? When your hard work pays off, you need to invest in the right place. High-quality real estate appreciates in value. But the value is not just your home. It is also the area that surrounds it. Good roads with safe speed limits, drainage for even the most punishing floods, and neighborhood planning that ensures your view will never change. You can also invest in the commercial, social, and mixed business spaces, as well as Apollonia Business Park. It's time to make your move to Apollonia City. Call or visit us today. Our payment plans are tailored for you. Visit www.apollonia.com.gh or call 0275-577-577. We spice up your mornings with culturally enriched conversations, social interviews, and policy-oriented discussions that will keep you updated on the progress of the nation. Because we're giving only those in their third trimester. So in the next three months, those in their second would be ready for to receive the kits. And we're taking data at registration, which is before they take the kits, at delivery and post-delivery, so that we can analyze. And we'll see the numbers. So from the numbers and the data, that we're collecting, we would know what has worked, what hasn't worked, you know. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Let your voice be heard with the hashtag Breakfast Daily. Join us for breakfast daily, only on City TV. Welcome back. This is The Point of View. Tonight, we have two legal minds. Sheshe is Akutuan Pao, a private legal practitioner, human rights lawyer, champion of the uh, cause of the downtrodden. Uh, Here with, uh, mm -hmm. of course, he, he, did other, he does other things too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here with Kisie Jabin, Kisie sure. is uh, Anasus lawyer, and their, their uh, petition to FIFA has resulted in Mr. Nyantichi, former FA boss, being banned for life and fined 
500,000 francs. So, uh, Sheshe, a lot of my media people are unhappy that when we expose a problem, the legal system, which includes the judiciary, doesn't seem to be able to carry it forth. Let me give you four examples. Example one, Galam say, we, we showed so many stories about the destruction of the environment that the government banned it, set up a task force, set up proper courts. But if you look at prosecutions, actual prosecutions of put during Galam say, it's not really that much. And if you look at even the, the type of sentencing we get, it's very, very low, right? And us, judicial corruption, he showed people collecting goods and things. Very clear, made out of noise, people were sanctioned. We haven't seen a real prosecution. Banking crisis. President says, we will make sure everybody who was responsible, we don't even know whether there's even a court case. I can give you so many examples, and now there's nothing. So, what's, what's going on? Is it that exposing alleged wrongdoing is very easy? But that proving and actually getting legal resolution is a what's what's really what's going on? Uh, ben, I think you you've touched on a very major uh, political economic challenge. Mm. It has to do with, in my view, whether or not the political elite those who hold political and economic power in Ghana are, as an elite, are committed to fighting corruption. Mm. Uh, because if they are not committed to fighting corruption, you can produce as journalists all the evidence that you wish. But because they themselves are committed to corruption, in looting state uh, uh, funds, mm -hmm. they are not interested to, in taking action against their fellow. So you find out that it is the poor man or woman who normally gets prosecuted. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a, a huge problem that you have. And that problem cuts through the power system. So it affects how the police deal with so-called big people mm -hmm. who, who, who are faced with allegations of crime. It, it uh, affects how um, even our courts, you know, in, in some instances deal with these matters. It, it, it affects how um, other investigative bodies deal with these matters. Mm. So there is that fundamental problem, in my view, mm. whether or not our elite in Ghana are committed to fighting corruption. But within that elite chain, yes. is it the police who are not investigating? Is it the lawyers who are not good enough? Is it the judiciary which is the problem? Because it, clearly there are different responsibilities. Yes. And if you look at all the things we've said, mm. is it that the problem usually comes from weak investigations and therefore faulty dockets mm -hmm. or a legal system that has mastered delay tactics and incompetent prosecution from AG or judges who simply don't want to, I mean on the Galamse case, the president and the chief justice have had occasion to chide judges for even applying sentences and fines below the minimum required. Mm -hmm. So the, the case says if you are a foreigner during Galamse, you get X amount and they will give you the they will, they, will, they will probably charge you something which is like one tenth. So, in, in your view, which of which aspect of that chain is, is the weak link? Uh, that's difficult to say, but I think that at the bottom, you must have solid evidence at mm. the investigative stage. I mean, that that is a basic necessity. If you do have solid evidence. You know, it is um, more likely than not that you can successfully prosecute. If, on the other hand, you don't have well uh, hard grounded evidence, you take it to the ages. Mm. Uh, you are not like, likely to get very far. Or even if the prosecutor, the uh, state attorney, is committed to prosecuting 
that case, the judges may, in the end, acquit the person because you need to prove that mm. the person was guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. But let, let me let me roll back the matter a little. You talked about this Galamsif matter, mm. I, and and, and I, the president set up, you know, uh, is it? So a, a, a combined, Vanguard, a combined interministerial team. Yes, and so on and so forth. My the information that I, I gathered from some friends who are involved in small scale gold mining suggests that in many cases these uh, uh, what do you call them these um, implementing organs of the state they go only after the uh, the, 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 the the small small uh, the small fish yes fish and that there's an understanding you go to somebody who's really doing Ghana say you get there they'll give you 20 or 30 thousand Ghana cities and then they walk away so it, it is a systemic problem wow. it, it, it's a really really systemic problem and that systemic problem can only be effectively forced fought if one mm. you 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 have a government that as a government too Mm. Not president, but a government, and hopefully the party that brought that government to power, that are united or largely united in fighting corruption. One, two. I have a population that says, "Look, this, the burden of corruption has reached the limit, mm. so we will no longer tolerate. tolerate it," and they put the necessary pressure. Okay. on the government, then you can begin to break this system. Because the system reproduces corruption. It, it, mm. it, it is structured to reproduce corruption. So you can't just go and appoint uh, one uh, special prosecutor and think that he's going to succeed. Let, to let me, let me come to Kisi on a couple of things. Is Anas frustrated about the lack of prosecution or closure to things he starts as a journalist because we, we know he's a lawyer too right i wouldn't say frustrated ah he's a very you know him he's a very patient person mm. and it is his patience that uh, gets him the results he gets and he understands also from a legal perspective that these things take time mm. because for instance if you take the judges uh saga mm. so many judges even taking one to prosecute takes time mm. and who do you single out to prosecute and leave the other okay and if you're going to prosecute all those who were sanctioned i mean that's a mass uh, uh prosecution mass taken. prosecution yeah and uh, uh all the things that is done so uh but as uh, mr gotampa saying if you have a real uh fortitude that this is the way you want to go i mean the system uh, then perhaps uh, the wind is going to carry you along. Mm. Uh -huh. But if there is no real appetite that indeed we must bring the gavel down and everyone who, is, who was engaged in these acts should go down with mm. the ship, then there is a problem. So to answer your question again, I don't think it's... it's but in, it's in, a the, in a specific... But man, let me take a, a dimension of this mm. judge's mm. expose. You see... The, the problem there, mm. in my view, was that Anas had done his job. Mm -hmm. It was up to civil society mm -hmm. to make it impossible mm -hmm. for the authorities, whether judicial or political, mm -hmm. to say that, oh, they are only dismissing the people. Mm -hmm. I mean, to, to put such pressure on them mm -hmm. that they will have no other choice but to prosecute the judges. Oh. And yes. to, to so to, because if sorry. you don't do that, mm. oh, wow. I'm saying again that elite corp corporatism mm. Mm. would lead to a situation where that they say, okay, they've done the bad things, but mm. let's find the minimum way of wow. disapproving. Yeah. Then, then you would recall, you, know, that, that, you would recall that that's, 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 that's uh, a portion of society who actually condemned Anas 
in respect of the judges' saga by saying, "Oh, you take uh, uh, a, a livestock to a poor <laughs> judge who was not expecting you to bring anything like that, and that you entrapped the judge and calling Anna's names rather than looking at the person who took mm. livestock to rule against somebody mm. else." So, so you are saying the public should have been a bit more angry and force the elite to decide to go further than simply sanctions. This is the same thing that we, 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 we noticed in respect, or we saw in respect of this football saga, for instance. Mm. There is a section of society led by you know who, mm. rather accusing, uh, Anas. accusing Anas as if he is the one who force fed someone mm. with corruption or is the one who force fed someone with money. Then if money is placed on the table on the, or on the armchair and you know you are not supposed to take it and you take it because of the position in which you are, you are not supposed to take it and you take it and then you are being taken to task. Then a, a section of society rather turns around to say, you, why did you even put the money Can I say, first? can I ask you regarding this mm -hmm. that maybe you have contributed to the problem by not providing clarity on what exactly Mr. Nyantichi should face? Because for FIFA you are very clear. You appeal to them ethics breached. You wanted specific things. But for here, you are saying AG has some information. Police have been giving something. This, this Yoko is, has been giving something. This, what, what is this offense? This, and what, this, what? This, this, see, uh, I was saying on Joy FM this morning that it is not for us to determine mm. someone's criminal liability or otherwise. No. Okay. It is for the state to convince itself that with the evidence placed before us, mm. we are good to go. Okay. But when it comes to Africa, so for instance, I can't tell uh, uh, the uh, executive uh, secretary at the Financial Intelligence Center that mm -hmm. Mr. Nyan Techi has engaged in money laundering. I can't say that. Okay. And so for which reason you should prosecute him? No. Mm -hmm. But I can say to FIFA in my petition that by the ethical code of FIFA, mm -hmm. Mr. Nyan Techi had engaged in a uh, uh, conflict of interest, for instance. Yeah. By being a GFA president, he uh, uh, sought to wear two hats, charging commission on behalf of the sheikh that he supposedly went to meet, and charging the GFA, on the other hand, for the same job that he was going to do. So it is clear. In, in, in that uh, uh, province or in, that, uh, in the four corners of, of, of that ethical rule, it says that, uh, if you are in such a position, mm. do not collect any money when you are dealing okay. with such transactions. Do not take a commission when you are dealing with such transactions. Your first uh, fidelity is to the association mm. you are representing. So on that basis, and since it is not a criminal prosecution, once again, but it is uh, an ethical breach, I can, easier. I can say to But, but what you give to the police, is it evidence? Because if it is evidence... Why are they, what are they investigating? Oh, but every, you see, you can't just go to, uh, uh, if you say you think someone has committed a crime, you, you, it is in your own interest as a complainant to assist. The, no, I'm asking, so you get police footages of meetings and everything. What and, I'm saying is, and the police every, say they have invited a man to question everything him. That, what, that, what, everything what are they that, investigating? To investigate if he's committed any crime. How would they know? By their training. They are trained to investigate. So they will use the evidence, of, for example, the, the company a, form and all those things. Bernard, how does the police know to take you to court if you run a red light? They will use evidence? Yes. But that's if I'm... So they will have different... No, but by their training. They know that if you run the red light, you've, 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 you've committed a, 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 a road traffic violation. Yes. And so by your training as an investigator, as, as a law enforcement... Okay, let me ask you. Have they been questioning you guys after you send evidence to them? Have they asked you for clarification? Of the evidence no don't it is not questioning us sometimes they ask for clarification and then it is clarified but they invited Mr. Nyantechi one evening on some on one we, afternoon we, on we, some we, issue you are not part of we that we were not there uh, that's not how they do their investigation no but i'm, I'm, I'm talking about what the public knows because we, they are wondering what is happening you've given it how long is this three months i i i try to no it's not it's more than that since june i try to explain something to you yeah. i'm saying that once again you see uh, sitting on an ethical committee yeah. or an ethics committee is quite this. It's a different kettle of fish. From no, I understand that. I'm saying that's sick. Okay, so June to no, November, tomorrow mm -hmm. morning is November. 
Is it? Are you concerned? Are you not concerned that it's taking too long for any proper docket to be sent to the AG? The lawyer who has crossed the 15 year bar, I'm not surprised at this thing because of the way things work in this country in terms of wow. uh, 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 criminal prosecutions. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why I'm saying that it takes patience. You ought to be patient when it comes to criminal. Because, mind mm -hmm. you, uh, in respect of FIFA, what have they done? They have banned. Uh, they have imposed a hefty fine on him. Mm. But if it is in respect of criminal prosecution, then mm. the person's liberty is at stake. Mm. Mm. If he is found liable, he, he, may, he may lose his freedom. And, and, but and, are you and convinced that the evidence you have is enough to secure a criminal prosecution? Yeah, let me say this. If I, I was not convinced by what Anas brought to me, I would have taken a single step. That's a good place to take a short break. When I come back, I'll read messages. Very interesting comments are coming through. I'll try and wrap up in the next 10 minutes. Don't go away. <laughs> Every day comes with its challenges. But there's someone you can trust and rely on to bring you hope for the future and joy for today. At the end of each day, you are stronger because you know that tomorrow will be better and brighter. That's the Ghanaian way. MoneyGram, bringing you closer. TV is live. City TV is a free to air digital channel. On a digital TV, please press menu on your remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a multi TV digibox. Tune into City TV and experience your world. City TV. It's your world. Um, this is still the point of view. Here are some of your comments. Dominic says, I'm watching and I feel so happy about Akutwampa's delivery. Uh, Okay, he's talking about Nkrumah. So Kwame Nkrumah was right after all. There's nothing wrong using state socialism to get people out of poverty while using private capitalism to create individual wealth. Nkrumah never dies. This is Dominic. <laughs> Kweku from Dansuma says, Anna should have planned this much better as a lawyer and experienced investigative <sighs> journalist yeah. to make sure the evidence in the investigations will most likely support any criminal prosecution in Ghana. These are some of the half-cooked investigations presented to the AG and expect him or her to perform magic with prosecution. It is easy to investigate, but effective prosecution is always different. Uh, yes, Kor in Tamale. Bernard, good evening. And to your resource persons, all the MPP allegations were simply hearsay. So there's little the AG can do. Amidu himself alluded to this during his vetting. Um, Bernard, what's the difference between Ioko and special prosecutor? If there's no difference, then can't one be dissolved? <laughs> we'll see. Point of view. Good evening, Bernard and your team. Congratulations for your award. In fact, Mr. Nyantechi is fined by FIFA is a jubilation in disguise. FIFA have done their best by slapping Nyantechi and is now left with the government of Ghana to also deal with him if found guilty. Watching your live all the way from Elubo border. This is from Kufogidira, Ernest. Elubo border. Say hi to the Ivorian president for me. Kwata is a big man. Hi, Bernard. Good evening to you and your wonderful panel. I must be sincere, Ghanaians are tired of these politicians and how they handle issues. We know the wheels of justice grind slowly, but justice delayed is justice denied. Kwesi Krofie Kaswa of Fako. Good evening, Bernard. My name is Mashud from Medina. Congratulations on your award. That's all you have to say. Um, good evening. It's clear Nyan Tichi may walk free from any criminal persecution in Ghana. Anas should be blamed for this because he masterminded an investigation that may not support the alleged offense. This is disappointing, I must say. Hey, Kweku from Nansoma, you what work have you done for Ghana? Somebody has done investigations, <laughs> yeah, and that should be blamed. <laughs> wow. Bella, good evening. It's serious. So AG claims they have no evidence to prosecute. Jeff FIFA found a section of the same evidence given to our CID oh, to pass judgment. Ghana with the Charles Otu. Charles, the 
the, the, the standard of proof for an ethical panel is not the same as criminal prosecution. For criminal prosecution, it is beyond reasonable doubt. So it's not the same. And the, the procedure for ethical here is not the same as a criminal prosecution. So let's all be educated. Do you, people keep saying Anas didn't do a good job. Is Agani serious in your view? A, a good job in respect. They say of he should have nailed his investigation should have been to a point where it will be incontrovertible. Someone goes to investigate, brings the results of his investigations to his lawyer mm -hmm. that he wants a petition to be filed at several places, mm. including FIFA. Yes. And that in respect of FIFA, he wants him to be banned for life from any football related activity. Yes. FIFA comes out with a decision to say that it has banned the man for life mm. from all football related activities. It doesn't stop there. Mm. FIFA goes ahead to even impose something that announced they don't even ask for 500,000 Swiss francs, which is heftier than the dollar. And you are saying he did not do a good job. This is the punishment meted out to Mr. Nyante. She's unheard of. It's the first time someone is, has, been, has been handed down such a stiff punishment. Especially the fine. And you sit in your house and say he didn't do a good job. And let's look at the flip side of that. Yeah. <laughs> it is FIFA that applies its code of ethics mm -hmm. to deal with Nyante. The Ghana Football Association has more or less the same code of ethics. Mm -hmm. But you think that if we had left this matter, you know, so... The, the, yeah, and so there's that, a reason. That, that is a, a yeah. problem because there's there's a systemic problem mm -hmm. in that institution. Yeah. And there, there's a reason why I didn't petition yeah. to the GFA. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't petition yeah. GFA. Oh, why? Believe in, I, I petitioned I petitioned CAF on the, uh, in respect of some of the African referees. You Has CAF responded? CAF is going ahead with 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 with, with this uh, investigation too. I petitioned the referees association of Ghana in respect of the referees. I didn't petition the GFA itself. I choose my fights carefully. And I petitioned FIFA in respect of question. And I didn't take any other person to uh, FIFA wow. except uh, uh, Mr. Nantech. And I keep saying that when it comes to criminal prosecutions, it is not for Anas Arumi or Anas to determine who is liable or who is not liable. He has presented his evidence to mm. the state. The state will then decide on what to do. So wherein lies he's done a good job, he's not done a good job. And that, that's what I was saying not too long ago. That see, the, 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 and uh, what uh, my senior was saying, the society itself mm. it has inbuilt systemic problems. Mm. And we are seeing from the comments that you're reading, the systemic So problems. we are too tolerant of corruption. Absolutely. And we also don't understand no. the nuances of fighting and, corruption. And the incidents. The high tolerance for cor corruption in Ghana is a huge obstacle. High tolerance. Yes. By because, ordinary people. Yes. Uh, we tolerate everybody. It. Because we think that it is normal. It's institutionalized. Yes. And it, wow. it's, it's, it's a way of life. And if you try to protest against it, they say, but you, you are too known. Mm -hmm. Why? A small thing that is going to get to you, 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 you want to spoil so it. So what needs to change for, because for example, with the banking saga, as we are speaking, it looks like it's dying down. No, 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 no. The banking saga, I, I believe that something will happen. It is being investigated seriously. Okay. Yes, it is being investigated. You can tell me in confidence. No, uh, based on your connections to the system. No, 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 no. <laughs> as a lawyer, just as a lawyer, I think that something. It because is, you've already seen, it looks like when, from where I sit as a journalist, when we stop talking about something, we don't hear anything else. So, yeah. like, there were weeks where on the 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 bank every day, mm. most times when the president speaks, he mentions the bank. Mm. We sort of slowed down and we are thinking something else, and then they also move to something else. But let me say this, <laughs> yeah. Bernard. Yeah. Uh, you see, if the president speaks, yeah. makes some nice speeches, and there's no echo, resonance from the media and the public, it, it, the, it, what he says will die mm. because the system will just ignore it. But if there's the resonance, mm. And then pressure then gets to be brought on those institutions, state institutions, mm -hmm. that have to have their ob obligation to take the battle on. Mm. Yes. So it, it is. It is. It's a combined uh, battle. Mm. And I must always emphasize that civil society, organized and conscious, has a huge ro role together with the media to play. To compare, but, but, but with, so that prosecutor has he started working? Do you know? No, no, 
no, you see, again, that is that is part of the misconception, in my view. Yeah. Hmm? There was a, a communication lapse when the special prosecutor was appointed because I believe I believe that when he was appointed, the government should have put out a statement that look, you can't expect that the special prosecutor in his office will start working within a year. It's to take about a year and a half okay. for them to appoint the, all the kind of so there is expectations. Resource. Yes. So if they had given us a more realistic timeline, yes. then he would take time to build the office. Yes. Because okay. otherwise, you you run and put up some office into being. We, a, we, or, we are, or maybe if I'm a chipping, or maybe we also have too much of a high expectation in terms of the outcomes of of, of legal investigation in Ghana. Yeah. Let me end with two comments. Abuga Thomas Akumbasi, congratulations, Bernard. Your panelists are powerful. <laughs> and then Haruna Gadu Yakubu Kagame. I like your name. He says, Name, shame, and jail continues. Anas Arimeyao shall survive. Amen. <laughs> That's a good way to end. My name is Bernard. I'm my guest, Kisi Ejabin, lawyer for Anas. And uh, Sheshe Akotuampao. Lawyer for all of us. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, keep stay with CTTV. Good night.